This is part two of the Granny Square Mini Christmas Stocking and it's pattern number FP333. That's available at maggiescrochet.com. I've never made one of these before and I'm going to create a little suspense here and I'm not going to turn it into that yet and I'm going to sew my ends in. I fold my end over the eye of the crochet hook on the side and then I pinch it and then I open up my pinch fingers and just enough to push the eye of the needle onto the fold of the yarn. And then I'm going to sew my ends in and once and out. Depending on what what project I'm working on, if it's an afghan, I will be more, much more careful at sewing my ends in better than I'm doing right here. But for this, it doesn't really, it's not going to go through a lot of wear and tear. It's just going to be up on a tree maybe for a couple weeks. And then in a box. And then maybe washed every now and then. I'm going to sew these in quick. If you're doing a lot of granny squares with a lot of color changes with a lot of ends, it's a good idea to sew them in as you go a little bit. So you don't have them all at one time at the end. I don't know what I think about this little bow here. I guess it's kind of cute. Okay. Now, when you, this is the wrong side here, and this is the right side. And you could have, it was the side that I worked all my rounds on, and you could have marked it in the beginning. Um, but I can tell the back looks kind of, doesn't look as good as the front. The front, usually how you can tell too, is all the loops are kind of facing you. And it's a prettier, it's a more finished looking side. So, if you take this little five-sided granny square and you fold it, like you fold one side like that, and then you go like this, it creates the little stocking like that. So that's the exact that's what happened here, and that's what's happening here. So it's really cute. Okay, so then you take your hook, and you have to do the finishing, which is in green. And it says to join the green with a slip stitch in any chain two space. What is this? All right, and then you go like this. Oh, how neat! It actually, um, it actually has an opening at the top. I didn't realize that. So anyway, um, you join with a slip stitch in any chain two space. So I'm gonna join right here with a slip stitch, and then you chain one, single crochet in same space. Uh, and then you single crochet in each treble and space across to next chain two space. So single here, and all the way across, and then the chain two space, and right in here.
Okay, so I'm going all the way across the side and I'm sing I'm working a single crochet in the corner and then all the way across and in the chain one spaces in each um, double crochet and um, chain one space. And then you end with a single crochet in the next corner, which is right here. And then you chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you fold it in half, it says, which is just like this. And then you match remaining sides and you work through both thicknesses and you single in each treble and treble and okay so you're going to need to the first single you're going to do is back into the chain two space so that you can create your hanger there like that and then you match this side to that side and you single crochet in each double crochet and chain space around So see I've gone along the back of the stocking here. And I'm going to single on the chain 2 space. And single along the next side. And I'm matching the stitches from the back. And now I, I have a cute little opening at the top here. Okay, so when you get down to the end, you're going to have a single near the end, and then there's a chain two space at the very tip, and you just slip stitch into that. There, it's just like that. Isn't that cute? So cute. Like a little elf, elf um, stocking in a way. Too bad you can't get it to curl up like that. You know what? I think you could. I'm going to try something here. It's the designer in me. Okay. So what if you, when you're coming down here, just at the toe, you put like, I'm going to say like three. Instead of one, just put three in each one. Maybe it'll be too much, but we'll see what happens. It'd be really cute to put a bell on the tip if this works. That's part of being a designer. You just have to try stuff. Yeah, kind of cute. Like a little elf. Okay, then. And then slip stitch in the tip. Like that. So see how that made it curl? It's kind of cute. It's a different way to do it. But anyway, I'll take that out. And you do one in each one. 
like this. Kind of match my sample. My stitches are bigger and my my gauge is bigger, my yarn is different, so that's part of it too. So that's that. So I'm going to chain one to secure that tip there. I'm going to cut back here like this. I'm going to sew my ends in. I'm actually going to change the pattern that you see online for this and I'm going to have this I'm going to have a slip stitch put in right here for that loop so it comes so it's not open there so it'll, it'll land up looking like this I'll have a slip stitch put into the single it will just make it a better design okay so there's that. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. It's like a little owl slipper. Okay. That is the that's how you do the granny square mini Christmas stocking and it's pattern number FP333. And that was part two of two videos to make that. So thank you very much for joining. If you have any comments or requests, please put them underneath the video here on YouTube. And be sure to join my channel. And thank you very much for watching.